Just a quick disclaimer before this video starts. I am now in my new place. I'm in my dorm uh, officially now. I just moved in like three days ago at the time of this recording, at the time this video comes out. Still getting kind of settled in. I did stream today. I probably will stream again tomorrow on the 20th, when, uh, which as, the, as the, the time that this video goes out, I will be live tonight as well. Twitch.tv slash VictoryTGH, of course. So obviously with the whole move and stuff, I'm kind of stuck in this little weird developmental rut, you know, kind of dealing with homesickness and stuff a little bit. But uh, bear with me, and I will be becoming way more consistent now that I'm here because I've got nothing else to do other than do schoolwork. I mean, anytime I'm not doing that, I can do this. So that's super sick, and I'm super looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll cover that some other time. On to the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Victory. And I actually just arrived home to find out that the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War trailer has come out, the teaser trailer. And I have it pulled up right here. I haven't watched any of it just yet. It came out, I believe, let's check. I think it's 23 minutes ago. I really hope that, you know, they come, they, they hone it back a little bit. Just, just pull it back a little bit, you know, this year. Um, so let's, before, without further ado, let's hop right into it. And here we go. The height of the Cold War, the KGB defector Yuri Beznov issues a chilling warning. Okay. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself. He claims a Soviet spy codenamed Perseus has infiltrated Western intelligence. His goal is to subvert the U.S. to ensure Soviet dominance in the arms race. To this day, the identity and whereabouts of the pursuers are unknown. Oh, of Perseus remain unknown. It's a slow process which we call active measures. Huh. The first this is neat. Being demoralization. Really quickly, I think, I really hope, like, I don't... I'm not too sure. I'm sure they could be just be pulling up a bunch of footage from like actual Cold War stuff or it's a or it's like a makeshift story or whatever. But if they do like a a close to the chest, like historical accurate game, I mean, that'd be kind of interesting to see. It'd be more battlefield like like strategy, but I'd love to see what they do with it. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. The next stage is destabilization. What matters is essentials, economy, foreign relations this is interesting defense systems the next stage is crisis with a violent change of power structure and economy this is real footage Media right like this is real footage of what occurred during the cold this war this is what will happen in the united states if you allow all the schmucks to put a big brother government in washington dc we will promise lots of things never mind whether the promises are interesting they better have a release date at the end of this video. Like there better be a confirmed release date. Obviously, like we're speculating like De like November, December is obvious or maybe even October. But I don't know. I haven't seen any information on like a release date and I'm super excited. I, I, I don't know if I'll pre-order it, but I'll definitely have it like day one if uh, when it comes out. Inspired by actual events. OK, so it does have some historical accuracy. A plan decades in the making. Know your history. Or be doomed to repeat it. Huh. Come on, the come on. Is ticking. The come on. Second, the disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. Sorry, I had to listen. World Ride reveal August 26th. Okay, so that's that's not too long from now. We're going to find out the release date and everything. Whoop, look at that ad. Wow. Okay. So, that's a lot of, a little bit to take in. Um obviously, I'll come back on the 26th for the uh World Ride reveal. There is so much that they can do with that, and I really hope that they actually do pull it off this year cuz I'm not going to lie, these last few years have been slacking a bit. Obviously, Warzone's been super sick and all that, but I mean, I'm kind of not feeling multiplayer and I haven't since like BO3 and that was even, you know, not as much as BO2 and stuff like that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully they do really good this year. I'm excited. I think Cold War is a really cool place to work with. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been touched on before that they could probably use and hopefully they have a good zombies uh, this year as well cuz that's like my big thing. So, Without further ado, I all I can really do is wish them the best and hope for the future. Either way, I've been Victory. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys very soon.
Phoenix down. Boys and We're gonna get more time. You guys know that. Jets crossing. Enemy Ooh. remaining. Balls. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna be in the right. Nice, nice, nice. The ultimate is ready. Hold on, I'll take yours. There we go. Yeah. Let's be back. He just took top frag from me, bro. Oh I'm okay with that. He yeah, knifed he the, the raise. I'm okay with it.